Hey guys, welcome to Art Class with Elisa. You may be wondering why I'm outside. Our drawing is going to be all about the outdoors. We may not be able to physically go camping and be going and doing some great adventures right now, but we can certainly use our imaginations to create exactly the environment that we'd like to be in. I spoke to a great friend in the States yesterday and her kids are setting up a tent in the backyard for their holiday. And that inspired me for today's drawing. We are gonna make our own whimsical camping site. So Indy, can you tell us what supplies do we need for art class with Elisa? Uh, you need a pencil? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. A sharpie, felt tip. Yep, either or. A razor and a piece of paper. Uh, yeah. And some colouring in. What do you like to use for colouring in? Uh, I like to use crayon, texture. Yeah. Okay, crayons and textures. What do you like using at home? Hey everyone, let's get drawing. Have your pencils ready, your erasers or felt tip to do your line work at the end, up to you. I want you to put your page in a landscape which is similar to this board. Do it light till you get it right. The reason I say that is how often do we do a thick line and then go to rub it out and only to see that line is still there. It's and let's go. going to go right along with a horizon line, like so. Next we're going to add a tent. It's pretty much a rectangle on an angle, like this, then goes down like this, and then a line. See how they're on a bit of an angle to my horizon? Then my tent goes here, along here, and I bring that line up, and I'm just going to rub that line. I've got two lines there, that's the liver, that's the inside of the tent flap. Then I'm going to rub this line out here. You need to hold it down with the pegs. So we're going to do a line here with pegs and a line out here with another peg. And then I'm just going to do the zipper there. Our tent is pretty much done. We need a tree. Let's put a tree over here. So Two lines parallel, parallel meaning running alongside each other at equal distance. And I'm going to do a fork. Fork in the tree like this. This looks like a dead tree, but don't worry, we're going to bring life to it. Let's add a cloud. Think of a cloud, a very, it's called a cumulus cloud. Make sure. And it's nice and fluffy. There we go. There's our tree. Hmm. How about a fire? Our fire is going to start with a circle like this, and like that, and like this. It's a roaring fire. Next, we need some logs on the fire. To do that, parallel lines again, and ovals. See that? And you can do as many logs as you like, as many as you think you're. Remember, if they're going further back, the smaller you. You do the logs, the further back they look. Everything in the foreground is going to be larger. And then to do a log, you can just do a couple of circles in there and some lines to give it some texture. There we go. And flame the side can go like that. We need to add a bit of smoke. Now I think we need a camp sign. So I'm actually going to use my horizon line to start my camping sign. So I'm going to do a big wooden, kind of a rectangle. Like this. And two parallel lines. This is in the foreground, so it's going to be big. In big letters, you're going to write camp. And to make it look wooden, I'm going to just do a few lines in the wood. And a few here. And I think we 
then you've got a bird just sitting on the side, don't we? Oh, I love drawing birds. Start with the legs, two little lines like this. It can be on a different angle. And then think of a smile. That's the base of the bird. Go up like this and around. Looks like an S, doesn't it? Now we're going to go around like this with a little triangle. your bird look. Give it a little wing. Can you guys see that properly? I think I probably should bring it closer. What else does our picture need? We need more in the background. Let's add a few mountains. So we're going to go over the bird like this and we'll do a smaller one over here. Let's do snow cap mountains. Let's make it look like there's more in the foreground that we're looking through the bushes into a beautiful camping site. So how do we do that? Over here, there's a bit of space. Let's have a go at adding a big tree. Like this, like this, like that, and like that. Rub that line out there. And when you go to colour, colour all of that green. I think we need to add a log for people to sit around the fire. So, I love drawing logs. I'll show you how to draw one. Back to our parallel lines. I'm going to go like this. This can tuck in behind our sign. Do a little branch. Now, this is fun. Do spirals like that. Making it look like the tree's been chopped. And then a few lines there. You guys can put marshmallows, toast marshmallows, you can put a person in, you can create whatever you like in this picture, okay? I'm just giving you the basic structure. But I think mine's at night time, so I'm going to add a moon and some stars. Moon up here. Now there are so many ways to do stars. You can do your stars however you like to, but I'm going to do them like this. So you go a line, then a slightly shorter line, so it's a cross, a T. And then here, one on an angle, and here, another angle. So really, the longest line of this is the first one. Let's do another one. So go a line down, then a short line to do the T, then the same sort of size to go on an angle. You could even leave it like that or add another line like that. And I've got my assistant here, Indy. Hi. Okay, Indy, could you add a few more stars? some grass. Now Indy's wanting to personalise this drawing. She's going to add a bunny. You can add whatever you like. You want to add a person, you want to add a bear, a bunny. Can you see the bunny? So if we can't get out there and go camping, well let's just use our imagination and create it ourselves. Happy drawing everyone! Welcome to your drawing challenge. Let's go outside, find some twigs, find some leaves and create a story using our nature. You're going to need glue, paper and a felt tip pen and start maybe with a pencil too. I've got a few ideas. First one is a twig that I found and I put a bird on there. Another one I did, I drew a little girl in autumn time throwing leaves up in the air. I cut out leaves again, made them really small and then did a flower in a vase. So I'd love to see what you come up with. Have fun with that and show me your work.